This is Modern Homesteading. So while working in the forest, the two tools that I ply my trade with most often are my uh, small handsaw and my small axe. I've got a nice sheath here for that. One thing I have been lacking is a sheath for this. I've been carrying this in my back pocket. The problem with that is that this is exceedingly sharp and I hate to fall on it and it always gets hung up on brush and falls on the ground and it's just been, been a problem. So I was thinking, how can I make a sheath for this thing that I could carry on my belt that I can get in and out of really easily? So I'm gonna use this uh, chainsaw tip protector and show you a quick and easy way to make a belt sheath uh, for a handsaw. So the tool belt I like to use is an inch and a quarter. And so I'll lay this out here and I'll make a couple marks here and here. I don't want to go uh, make it too much wider because I like it to fit tight so it doesn't flop around. And I want this to extend above the belt so I have plenty of area there that I can reach. I can get the saw blade in there. Now one important thing you need to do uh, if you ever are slicing plastic or sheet metal, you can put a cut in it and thread something through it like a belt. However, that cut will continue to go on and on. It'll creep, whether it be plastic or sheet metal. So one thing like the guys that they used to do, at, or aviation guys, they know this, during the war, is they would, uh, when a crack would develop, you'd simply drill a hole at each end of it. Now we can take a knife and connect these two and we don't have to worry about this crack continuing on and the, and the sheath will last a lot longer. So there you have it, a nice, effective, inexpensive sheath It's going to sit right on my side that will protect my, myself, my pants and clothing from the sharp saw blade. It's easy to get in, it's easy to get out, it doesn't interfere with my axe, and I think it's going to be very effective. Oh.